In terms of Leash then, I mean, can you talk to us about how that came about and how excited you are for to get involved with this group of players? Yeah, look, it wasn't something on my radar, I suppose. I uh, I was uh, working away with Bennis Bridge. Uh, we were beating in the quarterfinal last weekend. And uh, yeah, it just, it just came up, uh, I suppose, two or three weeks ago. Uh, I got the offer and uh, I said, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a big opportunity. Uh, Doing doing the background and I suppose doing the due diligence before I before I uh, I, I I said yes. Uh, there's a lot of players in leash, a lot of uh, I suppose hunger to to do something, and that and that 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 really appealed to me. And uh, look, can't wait to get going in the next few weeks. Well, Willie, then just ask you about uh, leash a little bit more. Do you do, do you have the draw yet actually for the the national league next year? Do you know if you happen to be in Tipperary's group? Or <laughs> you, you know? Yeah, yeah, that could be uh, that, that 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 could be fun. All right, with uh, I suppose Liam, my club mate, over tip. So it's uh, yeah, no, I, I'm not sure. I, I it's uh, I was talking to the, the Leeds chairman the other night, and uh, if it are, if if it's if it's the same groups as last year, yes, we will be. But uh, I don't know if that's going to be is going to be changed in the next while. So just I suppose wait and see. And uh, again, those matches are so. I suppose so vital to I suppose the learning process here now in Leash as regards trying to get high quality matches. They're you know they're 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 learning days and 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 they're very important to to to, to development of players and a and a team and a way of playing. So can't wait to to I suppose to get going whatever format whatever group we're in. Willie, would you be um, bracing yourself already for what's coming in the sense of the commitment involved? I know you're involved with the bridge and club commitments are definitely heavy as well. But it is something that you have to go into your into with your eyes wide open almost because like I can't I can't imagine um I can't imagine how you'd be pulled and dragged with different things that are going on and are you kind of are you re- you ready ready for everything it entails? I think so. Yeah. Look, it's 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 a, it's an all or nothing game as regards and the commitment that you have to give to 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 really go after. Uh, to, I suppose to, to to change. I suppose there's been two or three. I suppose disappointing years now for Leash, and so it's about trying to. I suppose pick up pick up the guys, make sure everyone's in the tent that can be in the tent, and get as many players on board as we can in the in the in, in the coming weeks and months uh, to really go after this after Christmas. So yeah, huge commitment and I absolutely eyes wide open going in. It's something that I suppose I wanted to do for a long time as regards interest county management and this is look this it's it's the perfect opportunity geographically it's close as well i'm living in bennis bridge so it's what 45 45 minutes to to to, to more park which everything is based around as well so there's a lot of things that kind of fell into place as regards me personally as regards uh it's suiting and it's suiting at this point in my life to to to, to take the big jump just on that willie as well there's a lot of while the intercounty season starts i think it's the 24th of november now that you're officially allowed back there's a lot of conversations have to happen between now and then, as you said, to have the lads that you want inside the tent. Um, so these few months, while there mightn't be anything going on on the pitch, the, the players that you're going to have on the pitch come next May, hopefully April, May, June, uh, they have to be on board over, over the next couple of months. So I'd imagine there's a fair bit of prep involved in that. Huge amount, and even just putting backroom teams together, making sure that we have everybody we want on board uh, in the roles as well. That that kind of role of clarity that everybody understands exactly what they're doing. Yes, the players then to to, to I suppose to lay out the plan and uh, and sell the vision that that, that we're going to try to uh, to take these players on. It's a really, really, I suppose, big commitment, as you said. Lots of lots, of, lots of conversations uh, will take place in the in the in the, in the coming weeks uh, to, to 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 really get who we want uh, on the bus. But uh, yeah, no, just can't wait for it. Like, it's 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 an exciting time, and it's an exciting time for Leash. I, I I hope that the players feel that in the in the coming weeks and months as well that they're you know this is going to be a, a little bit different to, to what's gone before. And look, just can't wait to get going. But like you worked with him with Bennett's Bridge as well. He, he... You obviously get on great. You worked with him at Watford back in was it fourteen? So like, what does he bring? Adan is unbelievable. He's just a really honest, uh, humble, authentic, uh, hard work, and he's just he's he's everything you want. And I, I think players get, will relate to that very much in the in the again in the coming weeks. He's I suppose you you see a kind of a larger than life character, and that's how I would have seen him pre getting to know him. But he's just like like that super fella, really organised. Uh, hurling as regards like you know he's he's done it all on the field and now he's doing it in a coaching sense i suppose getting that waterford team to an all Ireland in 17 was it was a big achievement i know they were very disappointed not to win it but you know really good hurling man and that kind of you know, that kind of not passion but that kind of real understanding of high level sport dan has that and and and, and, he, and he i suppose he imparts it in a, in, a, in, a, in a very a very uh, kind of learning and teaching way to, to to players so look can't wait to get going i know i know dan is excited too but uh super fella and i i see you haven't signed up to do a a coaching course in the next uh, in the coming weeks, which will be a real treat, uh, genuinely to 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 hurling people out 